Hey y'all, Turcom Sunshine, Christy here, bringing y'all a story out of my feed this morning. This is where Allison Weaver was sentenced for a cannibalistic attack. So instead of me asking your name, I'll instead ask you who you the victim in this particular matter. September 16th, 2019, my life changed forever. I let Allison Thompson Weaver in my home, and in return, she tried to kill me. If the police hadn't shown up when they did, from neighbors calling 911, I wouldn't be here today. I have some memories of the attack that night, like bits and pieces of a horror movie. First of waking up in my own bed to find her in some animal-like crawling position, naked, ready to pounce on me. Her strangling me, the expression on her face, until I was unconscious. The extreme pain I felt as I regained consciousness and could not move from being raped, beaten, and literally eaten alive from head to toe. I knew in my head what was happening to me, and I couldn't do a thing about it. And then she whispered the words, you have to die. I begged her, I'll do anything you want. But she laughed and replied, it's too late, and began strangling me again a second time. This time, I saw my loved ones flash before my eyes. And I saw a bright light. I saw the end of my life. That's all I remember until the hospital. I do remember seeing pure evil in her eyes, though, and I truly believe nothing can save her. Every hour of every day, I deal with excruciating pain because of what she did to me and the countless bite wounds, including my breasts and vagina. I have permanent nerve damage all over my face and body. She bit off my ear and literally consumed parts of me, like my cheek, for instance. The pain in my neck, shoulder and back, even with physical therapy, is only getting worse. I have been trying to avoid more surgeries, if possible, than I've already had. Talking about this does not fully express my emotions. The hundreds of pictures of what she did to me are absolutely horrendous and disgusting to look at. I am unrecognizable in those photos. And they just begin to show what this cannibalistic rapist put me through. All, all the while, with a smile on her face. I'm learning to live. I'm learning to live with the pain and countless scars, as well as the, as well as the countless stares I receive. But what is scaring me is the non-stop visions of her demon eyes killing me, and the fact that she will try to do this again someday. No one knows why she chose me to be her victim that night. <laughs> The doctors at the hospital said it was nothing short of a miracle that I survived. 